For a video that probably should be pretty straightforward, just hunting mule deer with the 303 British, there's a lot to get into with this one, and it kind of starts with the most recent update, because of course Te Aro National Park is not the only thing that came along with that update. There were a lot of fixes, and one of the big ones for me is that the mule deer were finally fixed, and because there's enough to get into, I'm not going to talk about what was fixed too much, but basically it was really, really rare for level 5 mule deer to even spawn. And now that that's been fixed, I wanted to go out here and go for a mule deer hunt and see what we could find. So I went to Parque Fernando earlier, basically just to see if they did a population reset and like whether it was even worth doing a video on this because if they were all the old spawns, basically there was zero chance to get a diamond. So I went out, I started shooting mule deer and almost immediately I had an encounter that I didn't see coming. So I literally just started this. I came here to Parque Fernando and I wanted to just take out a bunch of mule deer and get respawns for this video. but. This guy showed up, and I can't believe this is happening again. It's a level 5 mule deer with two very different antlers, and it just doesn't work that well. I don't know, like, it maybe is better than the other one we have. But we'll just drop him there with a 303. I've seen so many really good looking diamond mule deer, but both of the potential diamonds I've shot have had, like, the two different antlers, and I'm just not a fan. Like, the difference in the mass is just huge. He made diamond at 323, but you can see it just looks odd. Especially with this main beam, like, drooping outwards. Again, if it was even with either antler, I'd be super happy. These are probably my favorite, too. Because there's one where the brow tines kind of, like, both curl in if it's even, and they almost touch it. I'm not a fan of that one, so I think like, of the two rack shapes that are shaped very similar to this. This is the one I would want, but just not matched up with this one. So go figure. Second diamond mule deer is uh, not the best looking one either, or second diamond true axe mule deer, but it's a diamond. I don't know if we'll do anything with it. And uh, yeah, I'm three mule deer kills in to looking for, uh, for some respawns and stuff. And I guess there was probably a population reset then because I haven't done anything to get a 5 to spawn. So getting that diamond so quickly pretty much convinced me that they either did do a population reset or that they fixed something to where the spawns that are on the map right now actually have a chance at being a diamond and that was the thing I was worried about like having to go through the entire population of Mjolnir and shoot everything and get the respawns but if there's a chance now that's all the excuse I need to come out here and hunt them because I've been waiting for this really since the true act mule deer initially came out because there's that period of time where there were like level sixes and sevens that were making diamond but that was just the initial spawns and after that there really wasn't much to go for on them so now actually having a chance of getting a diamond it's gonna be nice to just hunt them properly and it's nice in general just to see some good sized mule deer again because it was almost like the distribution of big ones was off and you pretty much only saw level threes so Seeing a couple of just max estimate fours all in the same area is definitely encouraging for our chances, but hoping we made that lung shot. He kind of stopped. I guess we probably got front of the lungs. And there are just a ton of mule deer running around down in here, but that's why I came here first. I wanted to go somewhere where I knew we'd see a lot of mule deer because their drink zones are much shorter here on Silver Ridge Peaks. And I guess the last thing I didn't explain was that I thought we'd come to Silver Ridge after killing a diamond on Parquet because it's not super likely that there's another level 5 just hanging out on Parquet and since our Silver Ridge Peaks is unexplored since they kind of fixed things, I thought that would increase our odds, but already it's past 10 o'clock so they're going to be done drinking and we'll probably just hunt their feed zones. But we didn't do too badly coming down here, we're going to end up with 3 golds, I don't think any of the 4s that size can end up being silver. I mean that guy's 20 above and I think he might have been the smallest. Actually, I think this guy's got the same rack. He's 10 higher scoring, so he must be a little bit bigger. And the other one we shot, it was similar. I'm not sure if he had, like, better top forks either. Actually, this guy's got, I think, the exact same rack, and he's 250, so the 244 was the smallest, but they were all kind of similar, which is a little bit weird, but might have just been weird luck with, like, the population reset or whatever was done. But even the threes, I feel like they're higher scoring threes than we used to see. I just think the distribution of like bigger mule deer 
is going to be the biggest thing that was fixed. And so far, what do we add? Three level fours and the three? That's not bad. I think that's a potential gold rack. Yeah, 226, so just four above. But to start out with four gold mule deer, I don't think that's something that would have really ever happened before. And assuming we don't mess up this shot, pretty much just going to be five. And yeah, you just... You didn't see as many big ones, other than initially when the true axe came out. And that was kind of different because you had all like the sixes and sevens. By the way, as he started trotting, we shot him like into the neck. And it was too high to get into a lung, so go figure. Messing up the shot that I uh, basically talked about not messing up. There's just no way to really make a better shot and fix it. There was there. Don't know if we got anything. There's just so much to get through before it reaches any kind of vital. That really never had a chance, but what should have been five goals to start out with anyway. And they're going to be well into their feed time now, so we're probably going to find them a little less frequently, but I want to kind of hunt around this little area because I feel like that's one of the best just concentrations of feed zones. Pretty much straight away, we have a little level three out here, which I gotta imagine he's working his way into a feed zone. So he would have been breaking our gold streak anyway there. But the important thing is now seeing like those level threes that before most of the mule deer were, now it's actually working towards something that feels like it can happen. Like we had that diamond on Parque Fernando and it seems like going for respawns on mule deer is actually worth something. So we're definitely gonna take out every buck we can. I'm just glad like for one knowing that it is possible for diamonds to spawn again. And I assume it's gonna be like the proper spawn rate, because for one, I had one within three kills, but I've also seen screenshots of several to where it makes me think that is the case and they are actually completely working properly. And it's nice to feel like just running around here for one, like we have a chance at running into another level five. And like I said, with the respawns, that's actually worth going for all the bucks. The amount of just good size fours that we're finding, that's the thing that's most interesting to me. And it's the part that keeps me interested in hunting them as well, just finding good ones, even if they're not diamonds. Just good-sized bucks. It's enough to keep me coming back. One of these was a buck as well. It's that guy there, which might be another gold level three. But there actually was less going on up there where I talked about than I expected. We had that one level three, must have been right by the tent here. And then that was kind of it, so... Definitely I need to learn a little more about the feed zones on Silver Ridge Peaks, but slowly but surely we're finding good ones. I almost wish this was one of the diamond racks, because I really like how it's got the forks like split off here. And then it's just like a really nice looking frame. I like them a lot, but that's still, what, 44 below diamond? I think they changed the requirement a bit. I don't think it used to be 314. I think it was 312 or something, but Either way, since they're kind of fixed, that shouldn't be nearly as big of an issue. And like I said, it's just good to see nice mule deer bucks again, because one like that before, you'd still get them four spawned more often than fives, but it's almost rare to see. And we've seen now I think four with that 175 to 210 weight estimate. This is just a opportunity to uh, hear the new 300 sound, since he's running right by. Just a silver, but more respawns. We actually had the Diamond Black Bear here on Silver Ridge Peaks a couple of weeks ago. And of course it was a common again. Are these all does? That's unfortunate, but at least we're fine in feed zones. But anyway, working on eventually getting a color phase Diamond Black Bear as well, so that might help us there. It's taken a lot of time in between just because I don't know where the zones are. But every Mule Deer Buck we see pretty much has been good size, so I'm definitely encouraged to like continue doing this and if it's gonna be like this even like if there's less of them because I kind of expect it to be a little bit of what we had when Druak Mule Deer initially came out and there were just a bunch of good ones but if there's like half of what we're seeing now as far as really good sized bugs it's gonna be a lot of fun to just do diamond Mule Deer grinds and rare Mule Deer grinds whatever because I don't think we have any rare Mule Deer mounted Maybe like a random dilute somewhere, but just going for them and seeing a bunch of good bucks is all I really need to enjoy it. And at level 4, gotta think that's another gold, and it is actually 240, so 
It's right there below that max estimate as well. I like that rack too with the little stickers off the, the times there, but I think we're going to go and check like one last area just down to the south here. Specifically, I want to get to this lake, but we'll kind of go by all three and see what feeds there. That's not even the fuck I've been tracking. So I've got a different 175 to 210 track, which is a common for a type, but that guy's definitely a blonde. And he's another one of the pretty good sized ones, but his estimate only goes up to 258, so he's maybe not as big as the first. But while he's kind of not covered up by a doe, we'll go ahead and take that shot. Make sure the other's not in here with him. Ooh. It's not a bad dilute. I don't know how he was hitting that well. Can we get a lung there? It's such a tough shot. I think we did, though. So that's those two. 243 blonde. I guess the difference is he doesn't have the extra tine up here. So that's why he's a little lower. And then the dilute here, which I think is a gold level 4, but it's one of the smallest 4s I've seen. 238, so made it by a decent amount. The thing is, that does not answer what the buck we're tracking is. I'm pretty sure at least that that's our guy. And actually, before he trots into the brush, we're going to see if we can alert him there and get a broadside shot. I think it's going to work. That should be just about good to bring him down. So he's up to 308, but I think he's pretty much the same rack as those first three that we shot all with like the really tiny forks. So not huge, but... Again, it goes into the same thing, just seeing that amount of good-sized mule deer. It just makes the grind a lot more interesting, and especially in cases like these, just getting the track and following it. It's obviously not always going to be like a level 5 or whatever, but like the anticipation and stuff, it just makes it more exciting. And this must just be like the most common level 4 rack, because this is the 4th or 5th one I think we shot today, and he's 260, so I think he's the biggest of those, but... We do have a trophy lodge trip to make, despite the uh, looks of the mule deer we shot, we still gotta find him a spot. Even picking a pose, like, I can't decide what actually looks the best, because what I did with the other one, I think it's like that pose, it just doesn't work as good with this particular mule deer, so other than this, because that works, you can't really tell it's super uneven, I don't know what else to do, and that doesn't fit, like, everything else in here is the full, like, shoulder mount, so... I guess we're just gonna go with like that. It kinda works. I don't know. Hopefully one day if these mule deer are working as it seems, we can just get some that look better and replace actually both of the diamonds that we have for two racks in here are kinda like that, so that's something to work towards anyway, but that is gonna do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.